oh yes and uh these guys always tend to be wrong <laughs> just over and over and over again they get it wrong uh and so uh yeah the the bear case uh even if gold did go down to uh 1650 is one of the uh estimates and 1500 is is the low estimate um but even if that did happen what is your risk reward ratio on gold and it's very little downside and that downside can't last even if uh the banks happened to get it right this time and gold did go down is it going to stay down in 2023 2024 <laughs> it hasn't caught up to the expansion of the currency supply i just wish this chart went back further because uh this starts in 1985 after gold's peak and so uh it would it would be great to uh see where it was when gold hit its uh, 1980, January 1980 high. Uh, because, you know, that is pretty much where we're destined to go again. I'd like to see this chart starting at the end of the Bretton Woods system, going from there to today. But it just shows the tremendous opportunity here. So this chart starts out uh, with gold in the uh, four to $600 range. It's, I believe that's about where it was in 1985, I believe. So uh, it's, it doesn't show the $850 high. The peak on this would be far, far higher if it did show that. And it just shows uh, where gold's destiny lies uh, someday out in the future. And it's probably not going to be too many years. I just think that uh, this is the time for accumulation right now while it is depressed, while it's, uh, you know, if it does move sideways, if the banks are right, that's just going to be a tremendous opportunity for people. Well, a cup and handle formation is one of the most bullish formations uh, that you can have. And basically, after going through a long period of consolidation, and let's, uh, you know, we've had the, the, the cup uh, starts back in 2011 and goes uh, out to uh, 2019. And then we've got the, uh, the handle that's been forming for the past couple of years. Uh, when something goes through a big consolidation like this, especially when you've got real money measuring currency and we keep on expanding the currency supply, uh, the, the money has to reprice itself. That's basically what my book was about. And it's in the process of doing that. Uh, this, the consolidation looks like it's, uh, the, the handle looks like it's pretty much done. Uh, so we should see an explosion uh, this year or next, and it should be huge, according to this pattern. Patterns don't always play themselves out, but technical analysis is right more often than it's wrong. It gives you a slight advantage. And so uh, this is incredible. What do you see there? Well, no, I, I see exactly that. And, and I, I, I just wanted to speak to it because um, I know in some of these videos, we have some, you know, long time holders of gold and silver who have been buying, waiting for the explosive repricing. And yeah. sometimes they get a little disheartened and say, gosh, when is it going to happen, guys? You're still talking about it. This cup and handle formation shows that we may not have that much left to wait because we're finishing out that handle pattern right there. Yeah. Uh, the first chart in this art article that he uh, wrote that is, you know, it's an email that uh, people can get by signing up for our free email list. They'll get great analysis like this is just the CPI. But when you look at this and it's just monthly starting at the beginning of last year to the end of last year, this is just one year, 1.4%. And, and then December was 7%. And this is using something that I dubbed the CP lie when I wrote my book, uh, because, you know, when you read about how they calculate inflation and then you look at uh, real world prices, uh, you know that, that they're cherry picking. So but anyway, it shows right where uh, Powell said that the inflation will be transitory <laughs> when, it, when it jumped from 2.6 to 4.2 back in April, March and April. And uh, now we're at seven. So this transitory inflation isn't that transitory. Yeah, it's like Nixon taking the dollar temporarily 
uh, off, uh, <laughs> right. closing the gold window temporarily back in 1971. We're still waiting for that temporary yeah. to expire. Um, well, look, folks, uh, there's a lot more in that email. If you haven't received it yet, if you're not on Gold Silver's free email list, just go to goldsilver.com slash join our newsletter and you'll get that and, and you know all the other amazing information that Jeff and Mike put out on a regular basis in that channel. Um, Mike, moving on, let's get to the tweet of the day here, which has to do with, uh, uh, I guess, some good news about stock prices. Why don't you share it with us? <laughs> the good news is stocks are getting cheaper. So basically, uh, you know, we're, we're down. Uh, it says the price sales ratio of the S&P 500 is now just 20 percent above the dot com <laughs> level. So it's only 20 percent above the uh the you know when the market was just about to crash back in 1999 <laughs> right right so we're rejoicing that and, we're just a slightly less fantastically ridiculously overpriced yeah exactly yeah it's uh totally insane and it's important to note that this is the price to sales ratio and, and and why that's important to distinguish from a price to earnings ratio which is a very common way to value stocks is that earnings can be manipulated by all sorts of gimmickry um, there's there's plenty of different ways to make a company look more or less profitable than the actual cash it brought in. But revenues are much harder to fake. So when your price to sales or price to revenue ratio is this high, you know you know that it's actually accurate. You know it's factual. <laughs> yeah. So this is factually you know almost the most overvalued we'd ever been. And I say almost just because it looks like it was just a couple of weeks ago we were at the maximum amount of overvaluation and. The fact that we still have 20% left to fall before we get to the height of the dot bomb, the dot com peak, which was the previous record holder for stupid valuations, you know, should really, really make people worried if they've got a lot of money along this market. Yeah, uh, it's the destiny for the stock market is in the opposite direction of gold's destiny. <laughs> so that's a great way to put it. Yeah. It's a so, great way to put it. All yeah. right. So just a reminder for folks, um, please just take a second, hit the like button on this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Mike, I just want to move on here to our chart of the day. This is a chart of the three month treasury yield versus inflation. Explain to people what this chart is saying and why it's so important. Well, this is a three month rolling average. So each month it's it's taking the that month plus the previous two months and averaging it to sort of smooth things out a little bit. But the yellow line here is the treasury yield. And then you've got uh, inflation is the red line. And when you deduct the red line from the yellow line, you end up with the green line, which is the real yield. So uh, the, the yield of your uh, treasuries now, <laughs> we're at 7% uh, as of December uh, inflation and treasuries are basically not yielding anything. And so 7% uh, of your value is being stolen on an annualized basis, is being stolen from you. And this uh, uh, comes from an article titled, Using Our Money, It's Currency, Not Money, to Steal Our Money, It's Currency, Not Money. Uh, you can't do this with money, but they're using our currency to steal our currency. So they're stealing the purchasing power of it by expanding the currency supply. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made over 3000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is, the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. If you want to earn $500,000, $1 million, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke. And you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where do you start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. 
fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them and if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange and one of the biggest are for example Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well established exchanges but, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy. But the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof. To the moon so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon, click on the link now. I'll see you there.